What is going on, lads? Welcome back to the channel. <sighs> We're back with Barcelona Legends, lads. We are going to be doing a review of these because a lot of people have been asking me. And look, at the end of the day, lads, I mean, the Legends are going to keep coming out. People are buying them. People are spinning. Um, you know, there's a large, a large uh, batch of newcomers to the series as well. So while it is frustrating for first or for long time members and long time fans uh, of the of the Dream Team or my club or whatever with the rinse and repeat legends, I don't think that we're going to see anything really new until the huge update uh, that comes very soon. And then obviously the larger update that will come after that as well, uh, which will be effectively eFootball 23. So we should have some news soon I'll be able to share. But for now, we are going to be giving this a quick look across and just to give people a couple of bits of advice when they are training up these players and a couple of comparisons that you can buy for GP as we like to do as well. Because yeah, look, Iniesta is an absolute beast, lads. He's unbelievable. And Sometimes there's players that play above their stats. Iniesta is definitely one of those, right? Across the like the whole profile here that you see his player profile, like he's just got incredible, incredible stats and skills. Like he's got everything that you could possibly need. Double touch, one touch pass, true passing, weighted pass, outside curler. He's also got captaincy. If you put him as captain, he gets a little boost to the squad. Um, but his individual stats are absolutely insane. 93 ball control, 94 tight possession. He's got 10 levels to go as well. As you can see here, he's got a really nice player render. Um, he's got 10 levels to go and he is going to be on the B form, obviously, as a legend card. But like you literally do not need to touch his ball control, his tight possession or his low pass or lofted pass. So you don't even need to upgrade those. You've got a ready-made, you know, best in the game stats for an AMF type player. I would play him as an AMF. I think that the likes of Pedri is very similar to him except faster. If you are looking for a CMF, someone to link your defenders and your strikers. But I think if you've got the luxury of having, you know, a, a deep number 10, you know what I mean? A classic number 10 that can just sit in the hole and literally dictate the tempo of the play. Um, as it is at the moment, it seems to be a bit of a mixed bag. Some games are brilliant. Some games are are just not, you know, going to work for an AMF, especially a small AMF like Iniesta. But he is one of the hardest players in the game to get the ball off of. That's why we're spending a little bit more time on him. So if we actually do go over to eFootballDB.com here, link in the description below, we will see that when we max him out, we're pretty much just going to be looking to upgrade his uh, his acceleration. We don't really need speed. Obviously, speed will help to get his stamina, maybe get that up to 70. Um, maybe 72, I would probably go to. And then it's a case of, you know, pick whichever that you want. You don't really need his passing to be improved. So I would probably, depending on where you're playing him, if you are going to be playing him as a CMF, as like your kind of box-to-box -box player, even though I don't recommend it, I do think that you should probably put a few into defending. That will bring his card up to 95 um when you pump all them in and it will also bring up his defensive awareness to 74 but it's not going to make too much of a difference i think to his stats so again i never really recommend to kind of like change a player's play style too much with training points i would just try and kind of like complement what he's already got going for him so once you have his speed sorted out i think you're going to want to probably you know choose whether you want passing or else if you want um dribbling or else a combination of both now obviously if you want to put his play style as well you could put one into them he does have 70 out wide and 80 possession but if you do want quick counter you're going to need two for that but as we are going to be deciding to play and try and get his his card up as best as we possibly can we do get a 96 overall in Iesta there um which is you know i mean he is an unbelievable player lads 96 tight possession 93 low pass 94 balance and 95 ball control I mean, he is, he's unbelievable to be, to be putting it mildly. He is incredible. Now we are going to go over to the eFootball DB app, which has the player compa uh, comparison on it. And we're going to show you a couple of little, a little bits and pieces that might, um, might kind of open your eyes to the GP players. So we have maxed out all these players and I've given similar stats, except one more. Um, I think I haven't given that I've given more pace here um instead of the the passing i think so when we give that there we can also bring that up i think the dexterity um or maybe we've given it speed i'm not too sure yeah i think it could be speed um but we can get the passing and the dribbling up as much as we can to bring that to 96 um but again looking at the individual stats here when it's overall you've got he's going to excel obviously that nes the card is going to excel he's got 92 dribbling 94 passing across the board but when we actually break it down and we look at the individual stats as you see here 
speed for somebody like Kovacic, who was available for about, I think, maybe under 100,000 GP. Um, he's going to be faster than him. He's going to have more acceleration. Um, he's going to have less, obviously, offensive awareness, but Iniesta's regular card has that. He's about 80,000 GP. And then the finishing stats kind of boost this card up a lot that you don't really need it. You know, you don't really need curl, finishing, header, or place kicking for this Iniesta card with the role you're going to be playing him. Now, when you get down to the dribbling, obviously, he's going to excel with 97 and 98 um, tight possession and dribbling. And obviously, we've trained this guy similarly, uh, but just slightly different. But the Iniesta standard card, 93, 89, and 90, and then the Kovacic card of 92, 92, and 94, you're not going to be noticing a massive difference in that. Any skill, I think, over 93, 94, you're not really going to notice it that much, in my opinion, online, because there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of variables to it, um, but very similar stats across the board here, you know, passing, balance, you know, obviously these cards, the standard GP cards are going to be a little bit less, but that is to be expected because you're not actually paying for these, you know, you're buying these with the in-game currency. So I definitely think you could check out Kovacic, you could check out Sergio Canales, you could check out Pedri and train them up and try and make them as close to Iniesta's stats here on his legend card. So moving back to the actual game then, and we are back with Ferra or Ferre, um, we will stick to Cliver in a second, uh, or go to Cliver in a second, this guy's actually got, um, he's got, what, 15 levels that he can go, so again, he's going to be one of the guys that you might look at from initial uh, expectations of him and think, yeah, this guy isn't going to make my squad, he's not actually going to be, you know, good enough to uproot my back four or anybody like that, but he actually has got some incredible stats, including some of the player skills he has, he's got speeding bullet, an early crosser, and he's got sliding tackle, in interception, man marking, and one touch pass, but what I like about this card, lads, is unlike other right backs who are traditionally more attacking based, we've got like 28 progression points here that we're just going to, again, pump up what he's good at. So give his dexterity, bring that up to 86, maybe 88. And then we're going to do his lower body strength. We're going to bring that up to 88 for his stamina. So his balance and his stamina and his offensive awareness are all going to be raised there with those upgrades. And then we're going to just focus on what we want him for. Do we want him as a kind of like a Cafu type defender that's going to be sitting back defending most more often than not? Or do we want him as a Roberto Carlos type um you know, uh, full back on our right flank. You know what I mean? We could play both sides. Now, for me, if I was getting him, I would probably take a look at the possession or his play style. You are going to need to put maybe two points into that just to bring it up. So we're going to advance the quick counter to 80 um, just to give two points there. And we're left with 14. So I think you're happy enough with the pace there. You'll be able to keep up with any of the strikers. And with the way V1.1.4 is at the moment, there is, you know, you are able to catch the fastest strikers unless they're miles ahead of you. So nine times out of 10, you are going to not need to worry about the speed once it's at this level, you know, 87, 88, 89, whatever it is. It doesn't need to be in the high 90s now for here right i would probably boost up his dribbling to maybe 80 so that when you get the ball on him his tight possession is up to 70 his ball control is 80 that you can actually play a bit of ball with him and then i would probably focus on the defendant so i'd probably bring up his tackling and defensive engagement to maybe that and then i would probably focus on again as we said there his passing so this guy is going to be an all-round kind of player that you can actually really have a bit of fun with and play extremely well with him he's 92 overall now if we were to actually pump in that into his uh, defensive card we could go that route as well if you just want to get rid of the ball and not play too many intricate um, dribbles and passes and stuff you could use him there as well and then last but not least we have got Paddy Clivert Patrick Clivert lads um, the main man himself again a phenomenal card I think that a lot of people are using um Sorry, I got a bit distracted, but um, if you do have, like, if you're looking for just, like, a target man, somebody that can actually just score you goals, right? On first inspection, he doesn't look like he's got the best stats, but again, it's not all about the stats sometimes. Sometimes it's just about players being able to score. Diego Forlan, I would say, is one of the best strikers in the game with his player skills, his uh, balance, his everything. Now, again, when we talk about the balance, 
this is a big letdown for this card and i think it's going to have to be addressed in eFootball 23 or whenever that update comes because a lot of the bigger um you know strikers that actually have good balance are are kind of really harshly done by that balance stat i know it's for a balancing act and all that but when you've got romario and romanegi and all those faster players that are smaller with good balance you know the likes of cliver the likes of burkamp the likes of ibrahimovic they have incredible balance when they were playing um so it should be reflected i think in that for some of the some of the bigger bigger strikers so if we are going to be boosting him up we are pretty much just going to be ad adapting to what the card is giving us and we're going to just turn him into an outright finisher um to get that up so we get the header into the 90s or the 85 with a ball control there we don't need to upgrade his speed too much because we're not going to be able to anyway 70 and 70 isn't going to be enough to have him leading your line but let me know lads i'm a bit out on clivert i would say that these two um are probably the pick of it Iniesta is an incredible card he's one of the best players in the game even Iniesta's like regular edition of the card as we saw there can be boosted up massively so let me know what you guys think it's a quick one um we're back with a review uh for whatever comes next but yeah i mean look lads at the end of the day um you know people are still buying the cards and still buying the stuff so it will be interesting to see the direction that it does go but um yeah i mean it is what it is at the moment i know a lot of people are asking me to cover these even though there's a lot of information out there with the other reviews i've done a lot of people are still asking me for this and there is a lot of new people downloading the game so it is what it is i mean you have to cover um what's happening but yeah i mean this rinse and repeat stuff it just yeah i mean at this at this stage in the game's life cycle it's just not good enough man it just isn't you know they need to start bringing out ways to maybe unlock these and maybe have a new kind of way of having hype for the legends you know maybe drop a pack of seven where you're guaranteed one um by putting in a hundred thousand gp to be guaranteed one of the the nine or one of the 50 you know reduced to 150 in the packs or something like that but i'm going to do a video on that quite soon as i said we're just covering what's being covered and what's out there at the moment hopefully some new stuff to cover soon but yeah until next time lads i hope you enjoyed the video let me know if you have any questions and i'll be back quite soon peace